This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. Superstar chef Guy Fieri is featuring a Wallingford restaurant in a new series called Triple D Nation. It is the first and only Trinidadian joint ever to be included in any of his ventures. Here with us is the owner and chef, Pam Jacob of Pam's Kitchen. Hello. How Hi. did I not know about you <laughs> until now? Um, so there are people who say, okay, this isn't the Jamaican kind of food that they're mm -hmm. used to. What makes Trinidadian food different from that? Well, it's all about the jerk. That's what the, the problem is about, the jerk. I, um, when I first opened up the restaurant, uh, people would come in and ask me, because it's the Caribbean, right. um, if you have jerk. So, you and know, you do, of course. I, well, it was embarrassing at first because I never had jerk. You didn't? Never had jerk. Oh so my gosh. I wanted to put it on the menu and I just studied it and I end up with my own jerk. It's not Jamaican jerk. And so is it's it less jerk. spicy? Is it no, more spicy? No, it is it's more spicy. Different. It's spicy. But I do it in the oven so it's moist. Oh my gosh. Um, it's not dry. Jamaican jerk is on the um, on the grill. Yeah. So it's it's a dry so rub. So yours is oven and yes, and oh, just more moist. Yes. All right. So this is what we're going to end up with over here. This right? is what this we're going to. Yeah. That is the most amazing plate I've seen in forever. Right? <laughs> so it's it's what have we got? It's a spicy pork. I do use oh a little gosh. jerk seasoning in there, mm -hmm. um, which is the um, allspice. Got it. Um, and then you get this the delicious here. salad. And then is it brown rice? Uh, no, it's jasmine. It's jasmine yeah. rice. Okay. So the the it's a vegetable fry rice. Yes. This all <laughs> looks so good and everything smells yeah. so good. Where should we start? So we'll we'll start with the mixture for okay. the for the pork. Right. Um, do you want to or I, you want me to go ahead? You and, go ahead. I'm okay. gonna watch. I'm gonna learn. So we will start with the soy sauce. Okay. About how much are we talking about? This is a one cup of soy. Okay. And this was part of just experimentation on your yes, part until yeah. you got things exactly the way you wanted. Exactly. I like experimenting in the kitchen. Um, I was a good cook back home, but um, coming here, there's so much ingredient. <laughs> and I love cooking, so I just, I mean, it's my passion. Well, that's pretty obvious from the food, because yeah. Guy Fieri doesn't go places that don't have really amazing food. <laughs> yeah. Is that just kind of a cool thing to have him in your place I and know. recognizing your place? Oh my Can gosh. we even get into your place now? Well, after tomorrow night, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is some, I, I use a little um, barbecue sauce okay. to get a little smoke in there. Was it ketchup that you put in yes, earlier? Yes, ketchup. Or, okay. Yeah, soy sauce, ketchup, and barbecue sauce. Very good. So going to mix that up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is um, this is paprika mm -hmm. for color. Mm -hmm. And that's good for the, you. Yeah. Do you use the smoked or the plain? I, uh, it's the plain. Okay. Uh, this is the five the um, all spice. All spice. Yeah. Right. Here, I'll stir and you pour. Okay. That way we'll get it done faster. Uh, some black pepper. All righty. Oh, man, I wish everybody could smell this at home because the aromas <laughs> are just flying out of here. Uh, this is um, brown, sugar. brown sugar. Got it. And some salt. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yum. Okay. What and else happens? The spicy stuff is going in there now. What is this? This is habanero oh, garlic. Wow and cilantro. Okay. It's my thing. And so this is what is going to go on the meat. And give you that spicy. I hope you like spice. I do. Okay, I because do. that is spicy. I'm going to need a beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, beer is going to go Oh my goodness. And so the rosemary, do you use that as a rub or does it go uh, into no, the sauce? No, it goes sauce? in here. Um, I believe wow. rosemary is so good um, on the pork. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so that's the sauce. So that's your sauce. And the, the pork you would put in the oven with the sauce or without the sauce? No, we're going to rub that in. Rub it in. Just and, and then, then pour all of this on top of it. Got it. And so 
every bit of this is going to go in there and it's going to bake for an hour and a half at, at a 325, yeah. 325 covered and then the next 15 minutes uncovered. You can you could go a little longer if you want it, mm. but this is going to be so tender. It's going to the bone is going to fall off. Amazing. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to do with the you bread. Can, you can, can try I? taste. We have a, you can is taste it going to be this. super super we, hot? Yeah. All right, just so I won't don't take, take a, a whole gigantic lot. Yes, amount. Just a little touch. That were is too much. Were you pretty excited when guy found you? That's too much. How about yeah. that much? That much. So with Ooh. guy. I love that. That's got lots of flavors and a, yeah. a, a bit of a kick. Yeah, there's a good kick in that. With so Guy, guy found there you is a story, a big story, and I tell it to everyone. The story is I, <laughs> two years into the restaurant, coming to two years, um, I was sick, I was home, never watched the Food Network, don't know about the Food Network, <laughs> sitting there, and he was at this, this family restaurant and this woman was crying and it, it put tears in my eyes and I was just saying, wouldn't it be nice if he, in my mind, yeah. I was just, I was home all by myself and I said, wouldn't it be nice if he were to come in my restaurant? A few days after, I was still sick, couldn't talk. I couldn't talk because I had surgery in my neck. I went to the restaurant and to check it out and while I was walking out, my phone was beeping and I just touched it, and it was Page Production. Are you kidding and me? Like I total coincidence? Total. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it was meant to I... be. We have just like a minute left. I want everybody yeah. to know about your flatbreads, okay. which are pretty amazing. So is this a coconut flatbread? This is coconut infused, coconut milk, coconut. Um, oh my goodness. A uh, little butter, a little sugar. And I, I make sandwiches out of this. Oh um, my goodness, the restaurant. that sounds like heaven. Let's put one in. Okay. You ready? Yes. So Go for it. We're going to use the press. All righty. That looks like fun. Here, let me get mm -hmm. my stuff out of the way. And we're going to do it right here. Do you want to do it or you want to? Sure. Do you, will I mess yeah, it up or can I just put it in there just and put that's it all in there the rest? And, and get squeeze the whole it. Thing up. Yeah. Okay, do I press it down or we're just going to let the press do the work? Yeah. The press do the work. Okay. Get it going. Okay. And that gives us the flatbread, and then mm -hmm. it goes in the oil. What kind of oil are we using? Uh, right now, we're using vegetable oil. Okay. How long does this take? Just a couple minutes. And so it's almost like a fluffy tortilla. Yes. Um, but with coconut. Yeah. And that seems like that's just the perfect it flavor so to go with the spices with, and all the yes, other things. Yes. It really, this goes with my sandwiches that I make in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I make a jerk sandwich, boneless chicken, oh my and goodness. we make the jira pork. And oh, that, that is looks a, so good. That, I was going to yeah. ask you what that was. Yeah. And that goes on the sandwich as well? That goes in the sandwich as well. Okay, you're so going to be so overrun um, after you appear on Guy Fieri's show. <laughs> Will you save me a space, though, if oh, I call sure. ahead? Oh. <laughs> it, the <laughs> restaurant looks is so good. So, the oh. restaurant is so huge. Um, you have There's so much room. space. Yeah. Well, the spices are just amazing. The barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. the jerk sauce. Oh, so we posted Pam's recipe for jerk pork spare ribs, which is very generous of you, and also the coconut fry bread. You can try it at home, or better yet, have it made for you at her restaurant in Wallingford. <laughs> you can see Pam's Kitchen on the premiere episode of Guy Fieri's Triple D Nation tomorrow night at 9 on the Food Network. The Food Network that she didn't even know existed. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at it. It's like a sopapilla meets yeah, something. I don't know. And it right. is so good. Amazing. After the break, a bicycle helmet program at Seattle Children's. It provides free fittings and giveaways to help kids bike safely. We'll be back in a minute. Do I get a bike?